Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Aries. Now you can have Aries anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Jupiter, anywhere in your chart. And Aries, this message may resonate with you, or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby. Send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. So, Aries, look, I can't even grab these cards. It's like somebody can't get a grip of you. It's like you're becoming unpredictable, and someone is frustrated. Why isn't Aries reacting like Aries used to react before? And they are feeling lonely. <laughs> Aries, what are you doing to this particular person? It says, it's all too much. And for them, they're overwhelmed. It's like, shit. Maybe all their tricks in the past, you know, the way they used to text you, they used to trigger you. It doesn't work no more. Aries. We're dealing with love right here. I feel lonely. Because there is, at one point, you was feeling lonely, too, is what I'm hearing. But, oh, how the tables have turned. You decided to grab a hold of your spiritual journey and just move in a different way, in a different direction. And some of you guys, you already knew your value. But you just had particular, I'm hearing so much love for this particular person. It's almost when you locked eyes, Aries, with this particular person, you just said, mm, mm. I don't know why I'm hearing sugar pie, sugar bear, or vice versa, however it may resonate with you. Because I'm just hearing you just had a lot of love for this particular person. And for a lot of you guys, you were, you were accepting these red flags. This is you. Will this ever change? And Aries, at one point you was feeling this. I can't let you go. And it was because this particular person might have been breaking you down, your confidence. And you weren't realizing this narcissistic red flags. If you're a, a, a male watching this, this particular person wanted to emasculate you and it was out of their own insecurities. They didn't want you to leave. And they weren't real. What, what they failed to realize is that you weren't going to leave. <laughs> you wanted to get rich with this particular person. Some of you guys could have been married to this person. I don't know, but let's get into this reading because I'm hearing something about unpredictable Aries, you're just moving different. And someone is haunted. I'm hearing haunted and going crazy that you're not chasing them anymore. Aries, sun, moon, rising anywhere in your chart. Something has changed within yourself. Now, you might have popped off before. <laughs> and you're not doing that no more. It's almost like they're so intimidated of your silence, your patience. Whoa, patience. Some of you guys, you learn how to control your emotions. It's like the universe. God taught you how to, you know, sit down, observe, stand back. And you know what? I'm just hearing for some of you guys, Aries, you said enough is enough. And you called this person's bluff for some of you guys you said that's enough and they thought you were going to come back begging and for some of you guys you 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 might have i'm hearing your answers say you 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 see you finally put your foot down and say you know what i got chingada some of you guys i mean if you speak spanish you might have told a man through a plate and your chancla a la chingada i want the divorce and all hell broke loose this particular person, mm, mm, they took it one level too high and it was added their insecurity. They saw it coming is what I'm hearing. They were provoking you, man or female. Put yourself where you belong. But there was something they were so intimidated about you. Aries, for some of you guys, you were in the, you were between two people. But the funny thing is I'm hearing is that you started to understand and maybe you asked for guidance why a particular person came into your life. 
and if you should move with this particular person, mm, is what I'm here. A lot of you guys, you chose to do you. Maybe you were dealing with somebody that was giving you, I'm here, unrequited love. How many times did you try to show love for this person or, or show love and affection and they just couldn't return it? I'm hearing love and affection by Rihanna. And this particular person thought that you would never leave. So in order to try to control you, for a lot of you guys, ooh, ooh, they try to suppress you with controlling the finances. Hiding money for I'm hearing hiding money. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But you're letting go and you're moving forward. And I'm hearing time's up. Put it in the comment. Time is up. And some of you guys, y'all are putting it in the comments, man. I'm doing me, boo. And the past, you letting it go. And for a lot of you guys, Aries, you finally took your fucking power back is what I'm hearing. You took your power back, your value, and you know you're the freaking prize, the blessing. And you told this particular person is what I'm hearing. <laughs> when I said, look, it says it hurts so much. You told this particular person, and you might have said it just with the emotions and with this anger. You will search everywhere, and you will never find a person like me. You would never find me. And it hurt their freaking ego. Every sun, moon, rising, Venus in your chart. This could have been a baby mama, baby daddy, whoever it may be. But you said it with so much confidence. And they, they were intimidated. Some of these people tried to uh, put you in a situation. I'm hearing when it comes to law, they wanted to, they wanted you to come back. On your knees begging. No, don't leave. But it's the other way around. Their pride is holding them back. And for some of you guys, this particular person ooh, is about to receive major karma. Because some of you guys were awakening through this spiritual journey. And, and even if you were in the wrong, there were certain things that you were being obedient with God, the universe. No one's perfect in this. In this life, in this journey, we all make mistakes. And I'm talking to my Aries that, that took responsibility and accountability for the situation or what they had in their part to do with, with, the, with this loss. Because some of you guys lost a lot of things. You know, there was children involved and they might have had the short end of the stick. They, I'm hearing something about... being irresponsible in front of the kids, you know, and the immaturity wasn't there. For some of you guys, Aries, you guys have taken this, you know, been the, the bigger person and you started to reach out. This is for my people that have been going through a divorce that are in separation even of their kids and you have taken the accountability of you speaking to your kids and letting them understand it wasn't their fault. And for some of you guys that are listening to this, you guys as kids went through a separation, a divorce, and it hurt you. It hurt you so bad and you felt like worthless. You didn't understand why the other parent didn't come around and you as you grew up, you you started you started to understand that your the mother the father was the problem. They were so jealous and angry that, that the other one moved on. And they fed things in your ear. For some of you guys, you have this going on with your kids. And they're starting to come around. You are being patient. It's almost like you're giving them to God. Putting it in God's hands. And you're letting go. And God is doing what he needs to do behind the scene. And they're coming towards you. And the first thing you're doing is you're, you're taking accountability on your part. And this is putting you in this energy. I am the man. I am the woman. Tarot has no gender, however it may be. But you're, you, you're stepping into your power. And when you break this generational curse by being honest, 
no matter how shit looks, because we ain't perfect. We all make mistakes, but you're be you're you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want to take accountability, but you're stepping up to the plate and your ancestors are freaking proud of you. That's a generational curse you're breaking. Because some of your ancestors dealt with that separation and that unrequited love when it comes to kids, family, or parents. It says, no one understands me but you. And you're dealing with somebody that left you that God, the universe, had put them in your path. There was a lesson that needed to be learned, whether it was a third-party situation or self-worth, self-love, so something to do with that. But yes, they're, they're feeling it. So let's get into the tarot. And I'm hearing game over. For some of you guys, you meant it. When you put your foot down, no matter if you had to leave the home with the clothes on your back, man or female, you might have went to jail two or three times. Until you finally released, you let go. And you're not chasing no more. And they expected you to chase. But you accepted it, embraced your spiritual journey. And I'm hearing, I don't want them anymore. Put it in the comments. Are you willing to accept this person? Because some of you guys, you're about to learn about forgiveness when it comes to betrayals. And you're about to forgive them. Let it go. And love them at a distance. Wish them well. You're not going to hold resentment because that's only going to block your blessings. No, no, no resentment on this channel, baby. Let that shit go. And if you've been holding on to a little bit, wanting to see them get their karma, let it go. So your blessings can unfold, baby. Because look, the only reason they did all that or everything happened to you is because you are a powerful MF, look, and look at the other hand right here, the strength, the universe knows you have the strength to move forward, and you were the prize, you co-create with the universe, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody that might have got you pregnant and left you, but the universe has your back, the universe is not going to let you down, the universe is going to bring somebody to love you, and it's just, this is the universe loving you. Yes, you might go through a little bit of hardships, but look what you're learning, that every time you fall down, you could get back up. And it's like every time that life throws you challenges, the devil, whatever you may want to look at it, you reflect on it, you let it go, you release and you keep moving forward and you trusted in God in the universe because look, this is you waiting on a sign from the universe. And some of you guys aren't afraid to leave. Some of you guys love to be butt naked, put it in the comments or your partner does. Are you going to meet somebody that is going to be so secure? If you have a little bit of insecurities or your past person had you, you know, feeling insecure in whichever way. No, you have somebody that's coming to you. Look, they, they're going to teach you how to be butt naked running around. I don't know what, who needed to hear that, but you're going to find, or, or the universe is going to put somebody in your path that is going to bring out the beauty in you, that is going to uplift you. This person's not going to be on your ass. This person's going to allow you to what? to explore. This particular person knows and will be trusting you because this, this particular person also is in tune with God and the universe. What does this mean? Is that you're not going to be dealing with somebody that's jealous, that's going to be obsessive, possessive. They're going to have insecurities. Oh, who are you with? Why are you leaving the house like that? Who are you going to meet? You're waiting on God, the universe, in which direction to send you in. And for a lot of you guys, when it comes to career, you're ready to move forward. 14, 14, when I said that. And look, not only are you going to jump into the unknown when the universe tells you jump, but you're also trusting that God, the universe, will provide. 
Look, a lot of you guys love to pray. And this is where the universe sees that you've overcame these challenges. Some of you guys, you face these demons that you have been carrying from generation to generations that had to do with self-worth and bitterness when it comes to your heart. Some of you guys checkmate. And I heard Gabe over, over earlier. You let go of what no longer resonates. And it has now somebody feeling the pain, the loss of you. Because they will search everywhere. But they're never going to find somebody like you. You know what I'm saying? You guys might be dealing with the Sagittarius, but this is you with your guardian angel back here. Look at that protection. You got the sun and the moon. It's like your yin yang. You got the balance. And this is a tower moment for somebody that wanted you to be caught up. You might have had a family with this particular person. This could have been your twin flame. But I'm hearing it's game over. Adios. Hasta la vista. And you are becoming unstoppable, baby. Put it in the comments. I am unstoppable. Man, this particular person is in regret. And for a lot of you guys, the universe, and especially your ancestors, they're freaking proud of you. It's like they want you to not be afraid of jumping into the unknown. Just trust God in the universe. You've been praying for this. Been praying for this breakthrough is what I'm hearing. And some of you guys, Aries, you could have Aquarius in your chart or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. And I'm hearing somebody born on the 7 or you guys are seeing 777. For a lot of you guys, this you could be a life path number 7. But the universe and especially your ancestors, because they're right here, they're proud of you. They want you to know that you're the motherfucking star. Keep moving forward. And the, I'm talking to my Aries that are very grateful. It's almost like, you radiate this, this confidence. It's something that you've worked hard on, but you have ra you radiate this confidence, and it's almost like with love. People seeing what you've been through and how hard you've worked. When it comes to love and yourself, and this could be someone, some of you guys, some of you guys that wanted love. After this particular person, you almost got bitter. You almost wanted to feel like, I don't, so I hear some of y'all might have even said, fuck love. But your, your ancestor said, no, ni madres, no, you're going to break this generational curse. And look, Superstar came out and the universe is telling you, thank you for taking on this challenge. Because some of you guys took on this challenge. You're like, you know what? I'm going to fucking heal. And you embraced this time with God. You put in the work with God is what I'm hearing. And this is about to bring you true love. And for another guy, for another note, this is you putting in and embracing your time with God and how much you love that relationship, that intimacy you have. There's a lot of guidance and for a lot of Aries, for a lot of you guys that are searching for love, you're not chasing it no more. You're allowing God, the universe, to bring the correct person, man or female. Tarot has no gender. And for a lot of you guys, it's like you, you held back. You said, you know what, God? Universe, bring me who you think is meant for me or who you have for me. And it's almost like the universe is made, has additions, you know, in the background or in the, the spirit world, you know, they're auditioning for you. And the universe is saying, you know what? I'm going to put to death who doesn't deserve you because you are a freaking star, it is especial. You're special. And look, you have this balance. And no matter where you go, Aries, I'm talking to this Aries that no matter where you go, you leave your freaking mark. And they're like, damn, what happened to Aries? Unstoppable. You have admirers. Aries, you may be dealing with a Leo that's watching you. And this could be an ex that wants to tear you up. But... You're too divinely protected. All they could do is watch you as you walk away. 
and you walk towards your purpose. Woo -hoo. Look at that, number eight. So that's going to bring you mucho dinero. Look at this. And the universe is bringing you, look, some of you guys, you have people in the past that were laughing at you for the choices you were making, but the choices you were making were, it was from God, the universe, your ancestors, your angels. And they were like, look, you were taking the smallest thing, but they grew big. So some of you guys have investments coming or you just have blessings to, to other people. It looks small, but they didn't realize that that little small blessing that they called small. It's about to blow up, be big. Unstoppable blessings is what I'm hearing. Put it in the comments. And look, for a lot of you guys, you are freaking incredible leaders is what I'm hearing. And that's why the universe had to separate you from somebody that was trying to take your light. They wanted to be you. They wanted to swap destinies. What weirdo is this particular person? Está loco, está loca esta persona. Quería cambiar la vida contigo. No, hombre, a la chingada. Some of them couldn't even walk in your shoes or they're going to find out that everything you were doing, if this was in work, business, with a family, however, everything, all the weight you carried on your shoulders, you made it look easy. But it wasn't. This particular person that you might have been dealing with, the Leo, I'm, I'm seeing... Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're seeing that it, it's not that easy to walk in your shoes and they're getting this clarity. Some of them are, I'm hearing, they're realizing what they had. They didn't realize what they had until they lost it. And now they want to come back and plant seeds. Aries, I don't know if you want to have this particular person come back. It's for a lot of you guys, you, you asked for a sign to move forward. And you did. Some of you guys were seeing 444. And if you've seen 111, you jumped for joy because you know that was new. It's new beginnings. And you took off con tu burro with your donkey or whatever. Maybe a Taurus. Maybe you went towards a Taurus or someone with Taurus in their charter. You may have Taurus in your chart, but look, you use your intuition and you, you allowed that communication to come in. You weren't blocking it. And look, this is you with your eyes closed, no matter what obstacles. Because for some of you guys, you are in, I'm, I'm here. You're just an incredible leader. And you see where you're being roadblocked? You're about to help people get that clarity, how to move over, how to jump these, these obstacles, how to overcome them, how to break through them. And it's like you not forcing things. Mm -mm. You know, the enemy continues you to attack you and the devil, all these entities, they'll use the closest ones to you. See, because you were chosen to come here. And you know you're divinely protected. But the devil doesn't want you to know that. The devil wants you to think <laughs> that they could destroy you. Or he could destroy you. But ever since, and if you haven't said this, but when you start to speak it with your emotions, your heart, some of you guys may yell it. A lot of you guys type it in the comments. I love my freaking spiritual journey. The devil loses power. And everything that obstacles that come towards you like this, they don't affect you no more the way the devil wants it to affect you. You just wait on God to tell you how to move. And your patience, and we said that earlier, patient. You're patiently waiting. The devil hates that because the devil wants you to react like in the past. You would have kicked this and moved it and had anger. But look at you patiently waiting on God. So a lot of you guys will be embracing your spiritual journey. And guess what? Some of you guys are going to feel the power of you embracing your spiritual journey, speaking it out, typing it in. And it's going to unlock your freedom, because some of you guys have been feeling like 
all this hardship, all these betrayals, all this hurt, all this pain, all this trauma, childhood trauma, has robbed you of your freedom. And you've been learning. These cards don't lie, by the way. Fuck, look at this. You've been learning about your spiritual journey. And look, when you say, I love my spiritual journey, the universe puts, it makes it easier for you to embrace it. When you embrace it, look at this. And as you focus on God and the universe, <laughs> light bulbs and it's create, you start to become creative. And look at these hawks. You have two hawks, so that could be significant as a, a spirit animal. They want you to research that. But nothing can stop you when you focus your energy on God and your spiritual guidance. See, they expected you to drown and you could have been dealing with a cancer. But in reality, when you embrace your spiritual journey and you learn about these situations and how hard these could be and how somebody or, you know, the enemy could be, you know, following you, trying to stalk you or for a lot of you guys, you have somebody stalking the shit out of you with different accounts and different this. But the universe and your, 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 <laughs> your spirit team is allowing them to see you shine. And look, you start to co-create with the universe, manifesting everything you want. Look at that infinity sign. So what you put out will come in. Those persons, those people that hurt you, you didn't retaliate. For a lot of you guys, you didn't retaliate. You might have cussed the hell out of them. Some of y'all threw a chancla, some of y'all. <laughs> but look, you're about to get communication from the universe. And you're about to receive your justice. And look at that smile you're going to have because you kept your cool, because you kept your focus on the universe. Even when you didn't understand, how is this shit going to happen? But your heart chakra was in the right place. You meditated. And you received the message. And you planted good seeds. How? By not retaliating, baby. By working with the universe. And look. And allowing yourself to fall back on God, the universe. The universe loves you. And look, you're in this energy of the, the ninth of pinnacles. Look at all that wisdom. All that library. Man or female. And you have somebody that protects you. Some of you guys may have a dog. Some of you guys have an orange cat, I heard. So that's what I got for you. The universe wants you to keep moving forward. And yes, look, for some of you guys, sexy. Some of you guys, you know you're freaking sexy and you know it. And you're moving forward. And some people are going to be pissed because you, you're about to have no more contact. But they're going to miss the fuck out of you. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment. If this is you, you're about to unlock all your freedoms. Financial freedom, freedom, ooh, all freedoms. Put it in the comments. Infinitero888.